Um, really, you know, grateful of our players, you know, for them to come on a short week um, on the road in a hostile environment, very hostile. Um, you know, I'd been here one time before with Alabama, but it was different. There was a different energy in there. Um, really cost us actually on the early fourth down. We were trying to get out of it, and players couldn't even hear us with, I guess, they're not supposed to ring them at that point, but it seems like they were. So, you know, that cost us a critical situation there. And our defense really, you know, bend, don't break the whole day. And, you know, keeping them to all those field goal attempts was huge. And our offense struggled early. You know, those are really good defensive players. I said it all week. And you see them in warm They're really long. They've recruited extremely well there on, well there on defense, and you can see it. Um, so, you know, it's – it's not easy and guys rose to the occasion and find a way to win and you know they did it you know it wasn't easy it's a top 10 rush defense and on the road so um, just so proud of our guys and um, you know just just awesome to see them you know before we got here they, they've talked a lot about it these fifth six year seniors you know what they've been through to get to this point and um, you know to watch them and just watch them sing there at the end and enjoy it uh, is really neat. And tell them all week, you can do things that are special, you know, but it's really special if you do something that's never been done before at a place. And they'd never won 10 regular season games. And for this group of players and assistant coaches to do that was really cool. Next, Sus, go ahead. Lane, there's going to be a lot made about the 10 wins. Is this what you foresaw when you started the season, or, or did it kind of click for you later that you guys had this sort of potential? Uh, I would have foreseen this this season. I don't know if you would ask me two years ago necessarily when we first got here, but um, after spending a year um, with the offensive firepower and coming back, um, you know, uh, I don't know if I would have predicted if you would have told me the quarterback would have been hurt, all three receivers would have been hurt, and all three of those guys missed time and some all at the same time, I don't know that I would have predicted that, but our defense held us together through those injuries and did it again tonight. You know, and I mean, the third downs are kind of crazy. 11 of 18 on offense and 4 of 14 for those guys was a huge, huge part of the game. Michael Katz, go ahead. I know when we've, we've talked to Matt earlier in the series, brought up that there's just something special uh, about this team and the guys in the locker room. From, from your perspective, what is it that has kind of made this team? a little bit different? I, I don't know. You know, I kind of call them a blended family. Um, you know, it just kind of gets put together. Some have been here six years, you know, from the beginning, and some have been here one year. And they've come from all over the place. we got <clears throat> transfers, walk-ons, everything. So um, it's really cool to see them pick each other up. Every coach always says, you know, this team's a family, and they say that every year, and that's not really true. Um, so this is one of those unique years, unique teams. They really are, and they protect each other like that and play for each other like that. Like Todd Meyer, go ahead. Yeah, Lane, um, you guys at this point are probably almost certainly going to a New Year's Six Bowl game. Um, can you put into perspective what that means for Ole Miss football? Well, I hope we are because they just all celebrated like we are. So. You have some really upset players if they went 10 and 2 in the SEC and and aren't. So um, it's just it, it really is remarkable, um, you know what what these kids did, and um, they called themselves band of brothers and they really are. And that's just it's really special. And again, never doing 10 regular seasons to do it. Football has been played here a long time, and you know, and the SEC is as strong as ever. Um, you know, with more SEC teams than there used to be. So it's even harder. And so really, really special deal. Nick Suss, go ahead. Lane, was there a point in the spring or summer or maybe even in the fall when you saw the defense kind of believe in itself for the capabilities that it's shown later in the year? Yeah, I think they had some scrimmages where, you know, we're full strength on offense. Um, you know, when Ben was there and the receivers are healthy, we're, we're really good this quarterback and so you know our defense had, would struggle and then there was a time there's a couple of scrimmages that they really stopped the offense and I think they felt that confidence and it just started in the Louisville game <clears throat> you know just such a different feeling to the way that they hit the way that they played um, and obviously schematical change helped and transfers helped.
you know, we kind of went free agency, whether it was new guys like Chance coming right now or guys that had sat out last year, you know, like Otis and, and Mark. Like Todd Meyer, go ahead. And, Spr and Springer, obviously, sorry. Lane, I don't know if you've thought about this, but um, you know, there's a lot of talk in, in the off season about a 12 team playoff. If, if that were in place today, you all would be headed to the playoff for the chance to win, play for the national championship, or compete for it. Um, has that thought crossed your your mind? And um, you know, what do you what do you think about it? If if, if so, the, the fact that if that were in place, you guys would be playoff bound. Yeah, I don't think that way. I mean, that's fun for fans and you guys to write about to give people something to read, but that's not the case, so it doesn't matter. So I don't really think about things that aren't possible. Any other questions for Coach? You never know. Maybe everybody will lose Saturday and we'll get in. Never know. Uh, yeah, I'll follow up. Not on that thought, but... Uh, I don't know analytically if that's possible. I haven't studied the analytics. Uh, with, with the defense, um, I guess to follow up on, on what Nick asked, um, is a one-year turnaround, what allowed for that to happen? I mean, you guys, it's been well discussed, we're not very good defensively last year, and, and kind of holding your own at, at this point. You know, are there a few things that maybe you think allowed for that to turn around as well as it has in one year? We had two major things, a major schematical change, completely different. Um, wholesale on it you know we didn't go halfway and say okay on first and second down we're going to do it but on third down not you know we went all in on it. it's kind of like going tempo offense you know just going all in and and players I mean you know you got different players than a year ago out there too um, playing you know with Otis and and Mark and Springer and Chance that's that's a lot of guys right there Nick Sass go ahead I know you kind of downplayed the rivalry this week, but after that Ailey touchdown, we saw you kind of get into it with your sideline with some of the fans. Just what what does it feel like to you to kind of get swept up in the emotion of a moment like that? Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that, but um, you know, I, I get it now. Um, like I said, it was different than coming here in Alabama. There is, you know, a lot of things said to you on the way out. Their players, you know, say a lot of things during the game and. You know, it gets emotional and gets competitive. So I did kind of get caught up in that. And those those bells are really annoying, by the way. So and they they don't they don't even come close to following the rules. So whatever rule that is that they're supposed to stop, they don't. 